And the talk I am trying to say today is about how to use transcriptomic data to reveal the gene regulation, especially in fast cell uh, after treating anti-diabetic drugs, which is called the TZD. Especially I have focused on non-coding RNAs, so there are many presenters who talked about non-coding RNAs already. Yesterday I tried to well, find some non-coding RNA annotation in ensemble. There are many types of non-coding RNAs, including well, tRNA, RNA, and link RNA, which is popular these days. Especially, I would like to talk about uh, enhanced RNA here. So enhanced RNA is the transcript that is shown in enhancers, which have been shown since 2010. Uh, Greenbow's group identified transcript at enhancers uh, using their RNA-seq data. Because of its transcript at enhancers, you cannot see that clearly if you use, use mRNA seq data because mRNA seq data use usually poly A tail and this enhanced RNA doesn't have any poly A tail. But you can see the uh, those things in total RNA using total RNA. So they what they did was use uh, RNA seq and map it back to the genome and found that near this C4 locus, they found that at CPV binding site, which is correspond well with uh, polymerase uh, two by occupancy here and found some transcript that are stretched to plus strand as well as negative strand uh, from the center of CPB binding site. And they call them as enhancer RNA or enhancer driven RNAs. And also found that these enhancer RNA or eRNA are well uh, positively correlated with gene transcription level or expression level of the nearby genes. And there are many well, theory about the function of eRNA. Some people think that it's just a noise, noise because of polymerase two is there. And some people think that it, they have activating role. Or some people think that they have scaffold role so, uh, by showing that. So, well, this is a 3D structural promoter and enhancer. And some enhancers are working as a scaffold that sustain this 3D structure. Well, there are many theories, but nothing has been clearly uh, identified as a function of eRNA. But at least these kind of well, evidence show that well, eRNA is the uh, eRNA show the enhancer activity at least. And this is the system we would like to use for fast cell, which is called GrowSeq. It was firstly suggested by well. John Nis group in uh, group in the year of 2008, compared to well RNA seq, where you just collect all the RNA in cells, of course after removing ribosomal genes, gross seq just collected the nas transcript, which is a newly generated transcript uh, where polymerase uh, polymerase two moves along the gene then label those RNAs just after the polymerase two, then just sequence it, which is called GrowSeq. And the GrowSeq has some properties. So instead of, well, uh, measuring expression level, it measures transcription level directly. And also, well, it's very useful to detect enhanced RNA because if you see whole population of RNAs in cells, well, especially there are many cells in the cytoplasm as well as nucleus, which is not uh, already generated. Because of that, you cannot see the transcription level clearly. And eRNA is a transcript at enhancers, and they, are, they have relatively lower level. And GrowSeq is a better system to check the enhancer activity than RNA-seq itself, even though it was uh, RNA-seq that revealed uh, eRNA in the beginning. So if we go back to our story, I would like to talk about the how, or the mechanist point of view of uh, anti diabetic drug, which is called TGD, especially we use rosical detergent here. TGD has been uh, used uh, because a lot, because it has some therapeutic effect, so it actually increased insulin sensitivity really effectively. 
but it has some notorious side effect like weight gain and cardiac growth, sometimes cardiac attack and peripheral edema. So it really restrict the use of this drug. However, it still is widely used, used because of the effectiveness of this drug. And one of the well-known mechanisms, uh, actually it's just one mechanism known here is the PPA or gamma. So TGD works as an external ligand of uh, PPA gamma and activate PPA gamma level. And this is the only well-known uh, mechanism related with this drug. Okay, so, so this shows how TGD regulate the gene level, transcription level especially. So this is the gene locus of FABP4, which is well known marker for fat cell. And pre-adipocyte is before fat differentiation. There's no transcript at all. And FABP4 has a negative strand. So you see the negative strand in, in the bottom here. And before Rosie, this is fully differentiated fat cell. There are uh, uh, some transcription level here, but after Rosie treatment, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, as well as one and three hours, you see the transcription level goes up along this timeline. This shows that TGD or Rosie regulate gene transcription level here. Besides FAVP4, there are several genes which are regulated by uh, TGD, including PPARGC1B, ADPQ, which are, those are unregulated, and there are some downregulated genes, including CYTD1, you see the level goes down across time, and CAVV. So in total, we identified almost 1,300 genes downregulated by TGD and 500 genes unregulated by TGD. And this is just an average profile of gross six. So if it's, uh, when we just collect all the gross six reads at promoter region, we did see a peak here, which tells the posing of polymerase two at promoter region. Then with the stretch of gross six reads goes down across the gene body. What, what we did was firstly, if Grossier checks the transcription level, what is the effect to expression level? So because we have time course Grossier data for 10 minutes, 30 minutes, one and th three hours, we compare that with gene expression level obtained from micro data. So if you see here, uh, not, not, not easy. Here, so from the center, if you go uh, to the right, that means that a gene is regulated, unregulated by Grossi. Go left means downregulated by Grossi. Go up means unregulated by, uh, no, uh, not Grossi TGD, but uh, shown in Grossi. Um means unregulated in shown in microdata. Down means downregulated shown in microdata. If you compare the 10 time point, well, 30 minute time point of Grossi, and microdata, you see a lot of genes are shown to be regulated in Grossier, but there are not so many genes uh, shown to be regulated if you see uh, microdata. It's also shown here as well. That means that, well, you can see the transcription level changes in 10 minute time point, but 30 minute time point, but those well, transcription changes are not that shown in the expression level itself. But if you increase the time, well, time point here, so these well, 10 minutes time point gross level changes are well correlated with, better correlated with one hour expression data, more with two hour expression data, but less with a six hour, 12 hour. So that means that there is a well, delay until transcription level reaches to steady state MRN level. Maybe it's natural because, well, the transcription level need to be accumulated in cells, and the worse, well, the correlation became worse after six hours because there are some secondary effects. So that means this gene regulates this gene, this gene regulates this gene. So it does not show the uh, direct effect. So if it, I draw the entire diagram, then as you see, there are some delays shown here. So this is the relationship between transcription level and steady state MRN level. 
And what we focused on was eRNA, which is enhanced RNA, which I introduced already. So again, this is FABP4 gene locust. If you go further, there are PPAR gamma binding site here identified by CHIP-seq experiment. And follow this line, we zoomed in more, and that shows eRNA here, which is stretched to plus strand to the negative strand from the center of PPAR gamma binding site here. And this ERN levels also changes across time. So these ERNAs are regulated by TDG treatment. Then we used, we clustered them and found that, well, there are 160 enhancers that are reg unregulated by TGD and almost 2,000 uh, ERN enhancers that are uh, regulated by TGD. And the level of enhancers, or level of enhancers uh, changes are uh, well correlated with level of transcript of the nearby genes. And this is another diagram. So we also check the level of ERNA changes as well as level of transcription changes. So as you see, there are some delays. So if you see the correlation between 10 minutes time point of ERNA, it better correlate with the 30 minute time point of the transcription level. So if there is in answers and gene here, it does not go up simultaneously. What it means that uh, eRNA fires firstly, then it affects the transcription level of gene. That's why the delay is shown here. And we also identify that using uh, uh, PCR, so you see the ERN level goes up, becomes steady state, then the gene expression level of FABP4 is becoming uh, unregulated, but it took time until it reaches the steady state level. We also try to uh, check the, what is the motif that are enriched at the unregulated ERN or enhancers and as well as down-regulated enhancers. The unregulated enhancers are enriched with uh, PPAR gamma motif. This is a PPAR gamma motif, the well-known master regulator in fast cell. And the unregulated genes are, so the red is unregulated genes. Unregulated genes are more with PPAR gamma signal and down-regulated genes are less with PPAR gamma signal. So actually this is a well-known thing and we uh, knockdown, knockdown experiment of PPR gamma shows that the unregulated ERNA actually drops down. So that has that the unregulation of ERNA are uh, associated with PPR gamma directly. And we investigated what is the uh, mechanistic point of view for down regulation of ERNA. We did motif analysis. And we found that uh, CVP and AP1 factor, which has TCTGA and TCA motifs, are quite enriched there. Not, so a couple of years ago, ago well, Susan Mandel's group uh, says that the mechanism of down regulation after TGD is, CVP is responsible for that. But besides CVP, we found many AP1 factors, including, well, FOSL2, JUN-D1, ATF2. So repression is not directly mediated by PPR gamma, but with many factors, including CVP and these factors. And we using CHIP-SIG, we checked with the level of CVP, ATF2, JUN-D1, so the ATF2 and JUN-D1 are factor, uh, they have motif of AP1 there. And for all of them, we identify that for down-regulated genes, there are more CVP beta chip six signal, more ATF2 chip six signal. That means that it's not only CVP beta, but also some other uh, factor including ATF2 and JUN-D1. So many factors are associated with down-regulation of uh, ERNA, and we check the, if the binding strength, okay, binding well intensity of CVP as well as other uh, HPM factors are affected by TGD. They did not affect it. 
And what we found is that, so we took a look at of the, uh, this uh, diagram again. So this is the ERNA changes. So 160 and 2000 downregulated ERNAs. We dissect that across the time and found that at 10 minute time point, there are more unregulated ERNA, but at 30 minute time point and one hour time point, there are more downregulated ERNA that says that the unregulation is, has more direct effect and the downregulation has more secondary effect. So based on that, it may be just a PPL gamma who is responsible for well, um, regulation, and the other things are just a secondary effect. And so because we cannot tell which one is responsible for uh, down regulation, we used some general factor. In this case, we used mediator. So we did mid MED1 chip and showed that. So, so in this diagram, we showed MED1 chip 6 signal after TDD. So across the 45 degree line, we showed MED1 level, which is gray. So left side means MED1 is unregulated. Right means MED1 is downregulated. And we superimposed the unregulated ERN there and found that the unregulation of MED1 correspond well with unregulation ERNA and downregulation of MED1 well correspond with downregulation of ERNA. So uh, we also evaluate that using uh, GQPCR. So unregulated ERNA after ROGI, it really uh, the level of MED1 binding occupancy increased. After ROGI treatment, MED1 binding uh, occupancy become decreased after ROGI treatment. So we took a notion of sequencing. So, well, this is a, some dictionary defini definition in the dif uh, dictionary. A biological phenomenon which is in which a transcription activator acts to inhibit the expression of another gene. That means that there are a certain number of resources to activate genes. And a drug can activate, so try to activate more, and it takes out some resources outside that to focus on activation. And the other genes, on the other hand, well, they, they will lose some resources. Because of that, they become uh, repressed. That's the notion of sequencing. So with, by looking at the redistribution, redistribution of MED1, we think that sequencing is the, uh, the main mechanism that tells us the down regulation by TGD. So using GROSIC data, we measure the level of ERNA, as, uh, measure the ERNA and gene target, and the interactive analysis using GROSIC identified that gene transcription level needs some time until it reaches to a steady state level, and ERNA fires uh, before transcription initiation, and OM regulation is uh, mediated by PPR gamma, and multiple transcription factors are associated with down regulation, and we found that down regulation is mediated by co-activator redistribution or the notion is crashing. And this work is published by, published in GNND this year. And thank, well, I really appreciate my collaborator, Mitch Laja and Sonia Stem who lead the project. And Ki Wung Nim who did the, who lead the bioinformatic analysis. And this work is supported by NIDDK and Pharma Foundation. Thank you very much. Very nice talk. Thank you. So uh, I have one question. Uh, have you uh, tried any uh, experiment which will directly address the role of uh, ERNA in the PPAR gamma target gene and the cellular activity like PPAR gamma upregulation leads to lipid uh, efflux. So have you tried that kind of experiment to More what or the, adipocyte differentiation factor, a, any of the? Well, we haven't done it yet, but those kind of experiments are ongoing. What it did was look, uh, knocking down PPR gamma first leads and check the ERNA level. And the unregulated ERNA, when we knocked down PPR gamma, 
the ER and Levic went down. That's the only one we checked in this experiment. And for the differentiation, we haven't checked it using ERNA yet. So what I'm asking is mm. maybe ERNA may have a direct role in the transcriptional PIPAR gamma mediated transcriptional activation of those target gene. Mm -hmm. So if you intercept that step, uh, are you going to see any any outcome in that? Ah, uh, yeah. So for that one, we haven't checked it, no. But um, well, Chris Glass Lab did some experiment in macrophage, and what he found was that after he restrict the ERNA level transcript using some drugs, they, what they found is that the acetylation, well, histone acetylation level decreased a lot, mm -hmm. while well, histone, especially dimethylation lysine 4, stays still. So maybe we can, well, think that the ERNA level has something to do with some active chromatin mark, but we did not do any experiment yet. Thank you. Thank you. You mentioned that the, you know, the up regulation and the down regulation may be through different mechanism. I'm wondering uh, if you try the strategy using the uh, combined uh, chip seq and RNA seq analysis uh, to separate the up and the down genes. You can see maybe a distinct binding site for up and the down, and maybe for the up one, you can see the nearby binding uh, components. Maybe you can see a, a distinct set of the modular, you know, function. Um, cofactors upregulate uh, response for the upregulation of PPI gamma effect, while the down ones may be another set of the transcriptional factors there. Well, yeah, yeah, so actually that was the story of my talk. So we uh, focusing on PPI gamma binding site as well as other, well, factor binding site using chip C, we focus on that one and looked for, look, and we, we checked the ERN level changes. And omnivocational ERNA, solely is associated with PPI gamma, nothing more than that. And yeah, for noted as far as I know, maybe, maybe it's, there are some evidences, but for now, but for down regulation, there are so many factors. We chipped many things. Firstly, we chipped only CVP and found the motifs there. Okay, let's take a look at other AP1 motif factor, including ATF2. Okay, it was with down regulated DNA. Then what about others? It was with uh, well, downrated DNA. What about GR? It was with downrated DNA. That means that there are so many factors are uh, associated with downregulation. Then is it factor dependent? Our conclusion is that it's not factor dependent. It's factor dependent only for own regulation, for downregulation, it's not factor dependent. It's because of scratching, because of PPI gamma took out all the resources around there. So other, other trans factor, has lost the, the resource, which is a mediator in this case. Any other questions? The last one. Uh, hi, Tom. So, um, I, I think uh, in different factors, our recognize is not just working independently. So, often working as a group, right? It's mm -hmm. a cluster. So, I do think that your data showing that the PPA up or whatever you knock down is make some changes. Have you thought about you mutate the site or delete the site in the genome to demonstrate indeed that is the key? No other transcription factor helping. Therefore, you may, whatever your interpretation may be changed because there's some other factor working together with PPA alpha, then showing the difference. In terms, well, in terms of the, well, uh, in case of fat cell, PPA gamma is muscle regulator, and it often comes, well, have, it has really many friends, including RXL. <laughs> Maybe RXL can be the component, but think about the bi biology. So TDG is a drug. Can, well, and there's a receptor, well, there's a kind of receptor or something that recognizes this drug. It has a, well, some biochemical structure. Do you think many different structures can recognize it in the same way? And I, well, we, what we thought is that PPA gamma is the only one that can recognize the TDG, and it works as a ligand, it's well known, and other, and this is specific to one thing, 
to PPI gamma, not for others biochemically. Well, we haven't proven yet. And maybe RxR can be the uh, candidates because it normally has complex with PPI gamma. But well, what do you think is that PPI gamma is the only one and other factors are not? But of course, the mutation of those things can tell us more or RxL tell us more about it. But uh, well, RxL has really close friend with PPI gamma and the experiment is not that easy to dissimulate this one against PPI gamma. Thank you. Our next speaker is uh, Kazuo Ishii from Tokyo University of Agriculture and Technology in Japan. Can I hear my... Oh, yeah. Uh, so, that, that, that's good. Mm -hmm. 